guys, I'm Vanessa and welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, December 16th, 2022 and for today's video I'm going to be doing the 9 things I've learned in 2022. Now these are, aren't necessarily new things I would say but it's things that really made life a lot better. Anyways, without further ado and chit chat, let's get into the first thing I learned was to take the first step and by taking the first step I mean there's all the things that I wanted to do and I wanted to try but I really didn't know how I was going to go about doing it or how it would end and as a result I was like paralyzed for a while and not like but for a while I was paralyzed by inaction so I decided you know, to just take the first step with a lot, bunch of things that I wanted to try, I wanted to do, and so far so good. So the number one thing I would say is just to take the first step. The thing I learned is listen both sides, especially after that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case, where you saw that how one person's side of the story can just mislead you totally. Because at first, when I heard her side of the story, I was believing her. That that was years ago. And I didn't really hear Johnny Depp's side and I really and I never really thought of, you know, listening to his perspective. But now after I've seen that it kinda really opened my eyes that you know you really have to not just take what you hear at face value but to pay more attention and gather all the facts. And especially when you don't know a person well, you don't take their side of the story, you really just listen to both sides and then form your opinion. And also not just listen to both sides also but just gather the facts and work with that. The next thing is, the third thing I learned is all we have is right now. Um, I've lost a lot of family members over the years but especially this year. One day I was going out and I was like, I'm, I, don't, I had this bad feeling like there was going to be something bad going on. I don't know, I just had this bad feeling. Anyways, when I came up on the road, the traffic was blocked off and there was a car crash. So um, I was late for the appointment that I was going to go to because of this car crash and I ended up getting lost for a while trying to get to where I needed to go because the one main road that I knew was blocked off. Anyways, later on that day I checked and found out about the car crash and realized that someone died in that car crash at this exact spot that I had in the back of my mind. Every time I'm going out and I have to pass this spot on the road, there's actually a cross there because someone else died at that spot before. But a lot of times when I'm going out, specifically that day, I just had that feeling in the back of my mind that like that spot is just dangerous. I don't know if, fortunately, I just missed it by a couple minutes, but there was a driver going in the wrong way. And, uh, I'm really sorry for what happened to that person, but someone lost their life that day. And um, you know, after that, I just came to the realization that all we have is now. Like literally, all we have is now. So yeah, no use in dwelling in the past or dwelling in the future because really, all you have is now. Never assume you fully know someone because people really just show you who they want you to believe they are. But over time, someone can only pretend for so long before the mask fall off. So spend more time around people and get to really know them by observing them and not just by what they show you. The fifth thing is go to sleep. I know sleep deprivation is a very bad thing. But a lot of times when I realize like I'm struggling to make a decision on something or things aren't really going the way I want it to go, just Write a plan down, go to sleep. You'd be surprised how many problems you can solve in your sleep. Um, I know neuroscientists are studying it, but there are some studies that I was reading about or just watching videos about that was showing that when you sleep, how complex problems that you dealt with while you were awake, your brain has a way of starting things out so that when you wake up, you wake up with more clarity on it. So. That's one thing I learned, like, if things is going to shampoo, write down a plan for when you wake up and just go to sleep. <laughs> I know it's all simple, but trust me. Um, number six, <clears throat> no matter how much money you make or no matter where you are in life, 
always be frugal. So expect good things but at the same time be realistic and accept reality and with that you will find peace. Networking is good. I'm not a social butterfly but recently I realized that socializing more with people especially not just anyone but people who are like-minded and have similar goals is really good where you can help them and they can help you and just you know just having a team to work together is really good. So you have, you have to find your team and fit them. And sometimes, you know, you don't have to really go out to search for people. They will come to you. And number nine, ever important one is always for read the instructions first. <laughs> don't go and try something and then you read the instructions. Read the instructions first. I've learned that multiple times this year. You know, I've always have like attempting to fix something and I'll just go ahead and try it first and then when it don't work then I get the instructions. No. Um, it's a given. Read the instructions first. Anyways. And that's all for the nine things that I've learned this year. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. If you do like this video give this video a thumbs up and in the comments below if you've learned anything this year and you'd like to share it just share the top nine things you've learned this year and hopefully you'll be able to help me or anyone else who will read in the comments. Anyways, thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.